All right, got the love of public holiday on a Wednesday. We go back to work, back to school, and we start thinking about the weekend again. So how's it all shaping up? Well, overall pretty good, unless you're in southeast Queensland or the Northern Rivers. Rain is set to return, and some solid falls are possible, particularly for the Gold Coast to around Tweed Heads, particularly on Saturday. Uh, first of all, we'll have a look at the satellite image. We've had this big, old, uh, classic low-pressure system uh, just move out into the Tasman from a beautiful front. It was a lovely pulse of cold polar air that came through. And we're just wedged in between quite a lot of high cloud, masses of cloud over Queensland. This is going to be a problem for the Queensland coast in the coming days. The high level cloud throughout the south of Victoria, not much of an issue there. Most of that will just fly by, caught in the jet stream and not really enough moisture in it to produce anything of significance. Newcastle and the Hunter might see some of this high cloud there uh, during Friday, uh, possibly even Thursday as well, but it'll move through quite quickly. Uh, just to repeating, this is recorded at 3.30 on Thursday afternoon. So um, let's uh, take a look at this forecast. Friday is looking very nice, beautiful way to uh, shut down a very short week. But this is this huge uh, pulse, this big trough, another big burst of tropical moisture there. Extensive falls right along the Queensland coast and we can see spilling far enough south on the Saturday to affect the Gold Coast and the Northern Rivers, the far northeast corner of New South Wales. It'll then move offshore during Sunday producing a bit of a low and that means more swell again for surfers. It has been an incredible run for uh, board riders throughout uh, southeast Queensland. Well, mostly the entire coast but this one here is going to generate more swell that system has been producing lots of swell for the New South Wales coast pushing far enough north just to affect southeast Queensland but as that dies off we've got this next one to move in then this high getting squeezed all over the place and doing its best to protect us and make for some beautiful weather for the northwest most of New England the mid north coast and greater hunter will continue doing that across the weekend for those low Locations, then we'll start to see those onshore winds produce a couple of showers by the time we get to the early part of next week. So the weekend and the next few days looking great across the board except for that far northeast corner of New South Wales and south east Queensland where we should see some moderate to heavy falls develop during Saturday. So overall not too bad. Thanks for logging on. We'll check it again uh, in the coming days right here.